Alright, who's ready to fly? Yeah! Welcome to Mesa RC Foam Fighters. My name is Jake, and I'm here with Chris, Jack, and Zach, and we're talking about the Xera 130CX. Xera, we have some interesting sensor sensors on the top and the bottom and also there's a cool little battery compartment right here and it just slides open which is better because on the Evolve you just you just place the battery in this one you can just slide it right in and it's a nice and smooth compartment there's also these little stubs that you have that you can add on to the back of the helicopter so when you're landing on softer surfaces it don't it won't lean back and it all has a little modes on the side that allow you to switch between beginner intermediate and advanced and with beginner the sen both sensors work at the same time so it only allow you to go so high and so low and on intermediate it only would allow you to go so high but you can go you can land and you can go as low as you want and on advanced, there all sensors are disabled, and it's up to you to control it. Now it's the radio. Um, it comes with just a little four-channel Aries radio. It's got all your basic controls, no switches or anything. Um, it comes with an LCD screen, which is nice because it'll tell you all the different ways that it's flying, and it even tells you the trims. Um, and it's pretty nice. It's also pre-bound to the um, Xera, so you don't need to bind it or anything like that. And then when you compare the two of them, the Evolve and the Xera, um, the Evolve has four sensors and has uh, collision avoidance technology, and uh, Xera only has uh, elevation sensors to measure height and stuff so um and they're also also very different in size between the two of them okay. um so they stare huh um they said that this thing is supposed to be foolproof anybody can fly it yeah i haven't touched it i haven't done anything to it um and you guys have got it all worked in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i guess one of the biggest the big issues with the xera is that you have to work in the motors uh, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. So you guys had to just fly it for yeah. what a couple more times? Than yeah, once it's yeah. Uh, yeah. Two, yeah. two full batteries uh, started, and so, it started to lift. So just to make sure, as we tell the viewers, if you buy one of these helicopters and it only flies like six inches above the ground. For like the first Don't freak batteries. out. Read don't the instructions. Yeah, don't be alarmed. That's what it says. Um, you have to break in the motors, so um, which is definitely very weird. It's kind of annoying, too. However, it's supposed to be perfect after that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I want you guys to do, there's plenty of obstacles. And Tyler, you can go and look around the room here. Our obstacles is that we got gentlemen working on computers. We've got planes hanging off the, off the uh, ceilings. Your guys' goal is to maneuver your way in and out of them and fly it right back here and land it right back at the review table. Cool? We'll take, we'll take some turns. Alright, go for it. Watch out. What are we going to do? We should have to fly under this thing. And then we're just going to fly to one of the sides of it. And we'll around. We'll just go around. Okay. And we'll go through the, between the bull and the wings. Okay. <laughs> and what mode are you on right now? I'm on mode 3. Mode 3 is advanced, right? So you can do whatever you want. Can you go into beginner mode and be able to get through that full track right there? You should be able to get right through without you having to mess it up. There it goes, bouncing back. Nice. Cool, that works.
So the sensors work fairly well. And these, they're on mode two, it gives them a little bit more freedom. The beginner mode definitely was uh, keeping, them, keeping them down. So the mode two keeps you from hitting the, the ceilings? Yeah. Nice. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, you get back on that landing strip. Um, definitely uh, pretty cool. Um, what, what were some of the drawbacks that you guys found with the product? Having to run it about several times for it to run properly. And that's what it said in the manual, don't be aware to run it a couple times and, and uh, you should be fine. Yeah, that, that was kind of weird. Yeah. What about the beginner mode that just kind of just kind of limited you guys completely, right? Because you guys have a little bit of experience with flying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it just kind of kept you, what, hovering just a little bit? It was mostly a little, an inch or two off the ground. And that was it. Yeah. Which is good for beginners, right? So that you can yeah. learn the movements and stuff like that. And then Probably. you guys went right to mode two to, to go through all the tricks. And then the mode three, so you guys can just go wherever you want. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Would you guys recommend this to um, others to buy? Definitely. I'd recommend it for people who are just getting into, getting into the hobby. Um, definitely teaches them how to control, how to have control with the plane, and uh, uh, just teaches them, you know, just to get the basics. Just the yeah. basics. All skill levels can fly this easily. Cool. Awesome. Well, Aries, you did it again, man. You got a great product. And uh, go to Hobbytown, sold exclusively at Hobbytown. We'd like to thank Hobbytown USA for sponsoring this episode and allowing the boys to review this latest product from Aries. And uh, thanks for watching.